Luxembourg, just as the Nazis burst through in their desperate Ardennes offensive. The German assault slammed into four isolated companies of the 12th Regiment. Beyond them was a treasure house of supplies and the roads to France. But the 4th Division units held firm, then counterattacked. Then it became a matter of shrinking the bulge. Hi guys, another special for you today. As I told you before, I'm a frequent visitor of Luxembourg and today we were at the Vianden Castle for a nice medieval festival. But next to it being awesomely medieval, there was also a mentionable battle during World War II. So, the Battle of Vianden took place in November 19, 1944 and was one of the most important battles of the Luxembourgish resistance against Nazi Germany. Luxembourg was liberated by the US forces in September 1944 whilst the German troops pulled back into Germany and took up new defensive positions along the border rivers Moselle, Sauer and the Ur. When the country was liberated the Luxembourg people formed a militia across the country and therefore also in Vianden. Vianden was a strategic stronghold because of her castle which could be used to view deep into German territory. The German movement could easily have been seen and reported to the Allied forces. The militia, which was 30 men strong, spotted a German patrol on November 15th and decided to strike. Five of the 11 German soldiers were killed without even getting a scratch. After this incident, the German command decided to recapture once and for all the castle of Vianden. In the coming days, the US Army supported the militia with weapons and ammunition and left the town afterwards. The Germans attacked the town on the 19th of November with 250 soldiers of the Waffen-SS. After bombing the town and the castle with the grenade launchers, the German soldiers began to attack the castle itself. The castle was defended by four members of the militia only. After heavy fighting around the castle, six German soldiers managed to open the gate, only to be drawn in house to house fighting in the castle. After conceding several casualties, the Germans withdrew from the castle and concentrated their force on the town, but the strong resistance from the militia made them abandon their plans and withdraw to the other side of the river into Germany. During the battle, 18 German soldiers were killed and even more were wounded. The 30 men of the militia suffered only one dead and three heavy and three lightly wounded. When the Germans launched the Battle of the Bulge one month later, Vianden was abandoned by the militia who were hopelessly outnumbered. Though it is very honorable to mention that most of them joined the US Army to fight alongside them during the Battle of the Bulge. It was an honor to be there today, um, it was very crowded for the medieval festival, but it was very nice to, to look at the castle in, in World War II times. I enjoyed it really, 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 very much. So I hope you enjoyed this little story, and uh, yeah, if you uh, like these stories, please leave me a comment, so uh, I will do it in the future as well. Welcome to a new episode of Major Carnix Metal Detecting. Today I'm in Belgium again with History Secret, who is over there digging some holes. Please check out his channel to see uh, what he find uh, more. Right, my first find of today is an axe. Yeah, wood still attached. No idea from which period. I think I found the same kind of axe as well in the Hurtgenwald. So it might be war related, but uh, yeah, we're in the woods, so nobody knows. I think I will take it with me. Depends on how we're gonna go. <laughs> it's very heavy. All right, next one. So my second find of the day it took me a few hours, uh, or at least my second good find today. Um, it's a uh, ten Belgian franc from 1972. It's a little bit young, but it's in perfect condition. Love it. Nice, next one. So, just at my second coin. I love coins, I love coins. And we have no idea what it is yet. So, have to clean it at home. Let's see what it will be. All right, probably the next one. So, just at my third coin. Really bad condition, no idea. Cool, next one. Awesome. 
It's a baby deer. Awesome, 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 awesome. Always love seeing this. Great. Look at that, that's a baby deer. Oh, that's fantastic. It's not even afraid of me. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, it's fantastic. What a beautiful creature. Oh, I love it. Hello, guys, welcome to part two. Today I'm on my own spot again. I'm solo, unfortunately. But I think I just found my first confirmation about the world war here. My real first. Check this out. Let's see, two shell casings, pretty bad condition. And it says 18, 19, 18, I guess. They feel like they are Mauser cartridges, so from the Germans. So it's pretty, pretty awesome. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> Finally have some confirmation here. So, I do hope to find some more. Alright, next one. Well, the next one is, a, I think, it's a flare gun cartridge. It must be. The, the shotgun cartridges here are way smaller. Every type I find is small, and this is just how I found them in the hurting wall. Only without the ripped um, edge. But I know there were several others. Could be World War One, though. Could be World War Two. Have to look it up at home. Cool. Next one. So the next find is this crazy strappy thingy buckly. I don't know. It's a crazy design. It seems to be old. At least in my opinion, because this design <laughs> I've never seen anyway. So if you know, please uh, leave me a comment in the description. Uh, please leave me a comment below. Thank you. Bye bye. This just found a huge ass heavy chain. It uh, has a hook. Uh, it should be from the forest uh, guys, I think. I don't know. From the forest. I have to get some wood here. I don't know, it's pretty deep, it's stuck, it's really stuck. And I can dig it out, but I don't want to. So I'll leave it there. And uh, yeah, nice, next one. Welcome at today's summary. Yeah, as you can see, it was a very uh, MO day this day. Uh, so let's start in the left corner here, five shotgun shell casings. Not very interesting, probably hunting. Uh, we got this piece of shrapnel, which looks, which looked interesting because of the roundness. But uh, yeah, can only clean it so far. No details on it. I got the uh, two Norma shell casings. I think yeah, they're most definitely post-war. Pretty good condition. Norma eight comma uh, three times 74R, I don't know, so, um, what I could find is hunting gear, so probably hunting. Then I have four uh, cartridges which I can read, or, although they are in bad shape. Still readable for 1918 as you can see here, so that's pretty great, all four of them. This one is the only one I could find with the number Let's see if it will focus. 16, there you go. 1916. First World War. Cool. The others are unreadable. And uh, it's alright, I found them. They were all in separate holes, so it was still fun to find them. Um, this is a different caliber. Uh, not much readable on it. I think it was even a blank or training round because of the the smalling here yeah, the small stuff and i got one which is totally oxidized couldn't do nothing with it all right 
Um, so what do we else have? Part of a bicycle. Yeah, I just put it in there because reasons. Um, two shrapnel pieces. Um, yeah, it might be a liner, but I don't think so. No numbers on it, no uh, text on it, nothing. This is actually not a flare cartridge, it's uh, a battery holder, something similar. Uh, so, thanks for that, history secrets. We have the, yeah, buckly thingy, I don't know what it's supposed to be called. So, let me know if you do know. And a piece of, yeah, aluminum or whatever. I just cleaned it and... Yeah, okay. And then we have the three coins. I, I already told you I love this, love this coin. It's in perfect condition. It's not that old though, it's 72, but I, I really couldn't care less. It's so beautiful. And it's Belgium, 10 francs. Okay. This coin, it's a very bad state. It was a 20 centimes or 20 francs. I'll show you a picture anyway. And it's a very bad condition. And this one is even worse. When I was cleaning it, I could still see what it was. And then now I'm just guessing and I have no clue, to be honest. So, for freaking lighting. All right. That was it for this uh, episode. I hope you enjoyed uh, the small there, and I hope you enjoyed my Fiandan story. And uh, I will see you next time. Bye bye.